Hello everyone, it's Street Revenge here, and today I'm going to be doing another mod spotlight. Today it's going to be on the equivalent exchange mod by Xenophobe on the Minecraft form under released mods. Now, to be forewarned, this mod is giant. I mean, it has a bunch of features. So today I'm going to be going over some of the basics and more of the uh, cooler features, I guess you could say. So I'll supply you guys with the link, and you can feel free to go and do with it as you please. Now, to begin with, we're going to work on some basic... Uh, guess like recipes. So we're gonna need some slime balls and some redstone and some glowstone, and we're gonna make our philosopher stone. Now this being the most used crafting tool, I guess you could say, and it is made like so, with a slime ball in the middle. And this is your philosopher stone right there. Now this is gonna be used for practically everything that you craft with from here on out. Uh, in case you, uh, in case you can't, uh, find a slime ball, which we all know they're very hard to find, this adds a new way to craft slime balls, like so. And there you go, you can get your slime ball like so. Next, uh, this is called equivalent exchange, so you can exchange certain items for different items, I guess. I don't really know how to explain that, so I'll just show you. Uh, you can do it like so, and you can exchange all these cobble for a redstone ore, and your philosopher's stone never goes away. So why do I keep going for that one? I don't want to go for that one. We have our iron ore, redstone, and gold. Now, if you... Oop, what happened to our philosopher's stone? Grab that one right there. So, if you do like so, with some iron ore... You can get your gold ore. And if you do like so with with your uh, redstone, you can get cobble. And also, like so, we'll make iron ore. And if you can get some gold, one sec. If you can get some gold, you can make that into a diamond ore, like so. So it's pretty nifty. Now we're going to move on to our next one, which is, is going to be the, the alchemical, alchemical coal, I guess. Alchemical? Ah, pfft. I can't say it. That's a tongue twister. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, here's how you make it. With your Philosopher's Stone. And that makes your coal. Well, and that can... Revert back to iron ingots. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this uh, with this mod. I mean, it's it's pretty much limitless. Now with these uh, these coal things, you can make a Mobius Mobius fuel is what it's called, like so, with your philosopher's stone. And this is a higher powered version of the coal. And with that, with these, you can take your TNT and make it's called a nova catalyst like so with your philosopher's stone in the middle and your mobius fuel on the outside and you get two nova catalysts I dropped something I think I lost my philosopher's stone again crap I'll take one out of here so after that we can move on to our destruction catalyst This is our destruction catalyst right here. Destruction catalyst. There you go. Now there's a bunch of other features. One of the main ones you'll definitely need to learn is how to make dark matter, which is probably the most expensive thing to make. And as you see these blocks right here are dark matter blocks and um, almost everything's made out of dark matter from here on out. So like so. With your philosopher's stone in the middle will make you dark matter like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff out of my inventory and show you some of the cooler features that you have. As you can see, you have all these dark matter tools that you can make. Uh, instead of sticks, you will use diamonds. Uh, instead of like regular stone, wood, iron, stuff like that, you'll use your dark matter, like stuff I just had. You have armor, and then you have these cool nifty conveillance dusts, which you just... Uh, you can, I can show you how to make one real quick. Let's uh, grab some 
I'll show you how to make one of them. And we need some some coal too. Here we go. Like so. There's some of your conveyance done. And there's there's many recipes that you can all look up on the forums. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's so many and we're so limited on time. So I'm going to show you some of the cool features. Let's grab all this stuff right here. And we're going to need our redstone and our glowstone and all of this. All right, so all these things feed off of redstone and glowstone. This is our uh, this is called the watch of flowing time. As you press G to turn it on, time will slowly begin to speed up, like in increments of a certain number of seconds, and it'll slowly start taking more and more glowstone from you as time slow or uh, grows faster, and everything starts moving a lot faster. Press G to turn it off. Next, we have our gem of eternal density. Save a bunch of stuff in your inventory. Uh, it will combine all that together to make your inventory more, uh, like, smaller, I guess you could say. We have our rendering gale, swift wolf rendering gale. If you left click, you can shoot a, a little gale dust, at, uh, a little wind at a uh, monster, and it'll send them flying off. If you press G while holding it, you can fly, and it consumes redstone dust. I'll shoot another one real quick. I can hit them. Come on. There we go. And it sends them flying off. Press G to let go. You have your Harvest Goddess Band. If you press G when you're close to some plants, it'll knock them all off. Uh, also, it works with uh, with like wheat and stuff. Uh, this is called the Hyperkinetics Lens. If you right-click with it, it'll shoot a exploding ball at things. <laughs> yeah. And then you have your Arcs Archangel Smite, which I need some dirt to, to show you this one. And what it does is it takes your dirt or cobble or whatever's in your inventory and it'll condense it into arrows like so. And it has a homing beacon on it. If you left click it shoots a whole mass of them. And le right click will shoot one. So you can shoot it wherever and it'll go right to a, the monster. Right there. Let's shoot that sheep over there. It'll home right to it. Now, what else is there? We have our Ring of Ignition. This one is by far the coolest. I think if you left click, it'll shoot a flaming 3x3 uh, three three square. And if you charge it up and you right click, you can make a wall of flames, which is really cool. Now we have our Black Hole Band. So I'm going to show you how this one works with, uh, we're going to use some TNT real quick. Just to uh, give me a redstone torch. Just to show you the effects of it. Turn that off. Put our TNT down. And we're going to light it. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Now, as this blew up, all the blocks are dropped, correct? If I press G while holding this black hole band, all the blocks will come to me. Like so. It's really cool. And now we have our cat catalyst lens right here. Cat sorry. Catalyst. Yeah, so you left click with this one. It's just like the other one, but you just left click instead. And let's see what else we have. We have our destruction catalyst and last and these two right here, our Nova Catalyst and our Interdiction Torch. I'm going to show you Interdiction Torches because they're really cool. They pretty much keep monsters away from it. Like it, they can't pass it pretty much. I mean, you can even like almost block a monster into an area where they can't even move out. Like so, they can't even move. Or they can fly up like that sheep just did. And we have our, this is called our Nova Catalyst. You left click. And they actually, you can stand right next to it and actually won't blow up. And once it blows up, all these items just drop on top of you. And you can pick them all up. And then we have, last but not least, we have our Destruction Catalyst. If you right click with it on stuff, it'll break. Just break it down. Now all this stuff is very expensive to make, so it's not cheap at all. So... Yeah, a lot of dark matter, a lot of diamonds. So if I didn't have stuff to spawn, I would not have half this stuff. And if I didn't have too many items. That's what I'm using, by the way. All you guys keep asking me what I'm using. I'm using too many items. Uh, if you guys really want me to, I can do a mod spotlight on that. I don't know. But again, I'm Sweet Revenge from the Shaft Handlers. Please comment, please subscribe, please like. This is called the Equivalent Exchange Mod by Xenophobe on the Minecraft Forms and Release Mods. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.